everybody welcome back to the channel Shayna here um, and today I have for you the much awaited um, at least by me Amazon haul <clears throat> so I have six books for you guys today that I'm going to flip through and review um, I'm going to put timestamps in the description box below so that if you guys want to see a specific book um, you can just skip to that I know some of these have been shown before um, but I just wanted to show them here as well in case any of you guys, I don't know, only follow me, which I, I doubt, but <laughs> hey, you never know. So um, I just wanted to um, do this for you guys and show you guys my um, big Amazon haul that I've gotten um, over the last few weeks. Actually, I've added, added a couple books. Um, so yeah, and just as a preface, they are doing yard work outside. Um, I don't know why this guy keeps walking around with his leaf blower thing in front of the building, but you would think it wouldn't take that long to leaf blow. Um, <laughs> but they, they're they around, so I apologize in advance for all of the noise uh, that is possible. Hopefully they are done soon, um, but they're usually here all day, so I, it's not like I could really wait um, to film the video much longer. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. We're going to start with World of Mice here. Move those guys out of the way. Um, and then also just one more thing, or a couple more things, I guess. Um, I do have my giant book outlet haul coming. I think I'm going to split that into into two videos for you guys so it's not too god-awful long. Um, and then I do have speedy flip-throughs of all of these books coming up on Saturday, the Amazon ones. I'll have the book outlet hauls next week and the complete coloring book supplies and um, books for you guys coming up. So it's going to be a jam-packed week next week. Um, hope you guys like those videos. Um, always feedback is welcome. Let me know if you guys like the speedy flip-throughs. Um, I just like to do those so that if you guys don't want to hear me talk about the book or talk about um, the paper and all of that stuff, you don't have to listen to me do that. You can just see what the book is all about. So, um, without further ado, let's jump into this. So we have World of Mice, and this one is by Sun Life Drawing. Um, you might recognize this picture. I did it in a color and chat um, from the 40 coloring pages book that they have released. Here it comes again. All right. um, hopefully I'm talking loud enough so that you don't hear that too much in the background, um, but that's life. Uh, life goes on. <laughs> um, so yeah, so it says 22 color palette over here. So if we flip the book, we can see that color palette. And this is the same across all Sun Life drawing books. So you can match up your mediums, um, pick certain colors if you'd like. You don't have to. I don't. Um, I just use whatever I feel like at the time and I pick whatever colors I feel match at the time. Um, so like I have a yellow green Cali art but sometimes I'll use bud green instead or or something like that just so that I'm not wearing out one marker too much. Um, so yeah so color palette there. It is also in the book. You have your belongs to page. Um, so it says over here, 30 color by number stained glass designs with cute mice will bring you a lot of fun while coloring. It is very simple as you need just to color stained glass elements according to the numbers from the 22 color palette. Here we go again. <laughs> I'm just going to try to talk over it, you guys. Um, this is actually take two of this video, um, and I don't really want to have to do that again because it's just going to take all day. <laughs> so we're just going to try to talk over the the vacuum cleaner that is outside. Um, so then down here it also tells you that this book is also available without numbers for those who want to use their own color combination. All right, this might not work, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause until he walks away again. Oh, no. Well, maybe he's done. All right, I'm sorry for the interruption, guys. Um, so yeah, so that's a little bit about the book, and they, again, they do have um, I believe they have a stained glass book and just a regular line art book um, that you can just color in. I'm not sure though. Um, you have your color palette again and you have a test area that you can test out your colors if you'd like. Sometimes the colors do show up different depending on the paper. So this is a good idea um, if you'd like. You can. There's other ways you can test them as well. Um, 
I don't know if there's a blank page back here, but I think there is. Yep, you could test them back here first. Um, so yeah, and they are black backed. Um, this is not gonna stop bleed through, but it will hide it, except for where the letters are. <laughs> um, but it, it won't stop it. So you still have to put something between your pages if you're going to use um, markers. Even the water-based markers, I used my Crayola Super Tips in a Sun Life book the other day, and I still had to put something behind it because it was starting to bleed through. Um, so again, you have your color palette here. Uh, what I like about this is that you can see it, so it's very easy to access. You don't have to flip back and forth. Um, but also, it takes out the colors that you don't need. So in this page, we don't need number two, which is gray. So you don't have to search for it and be like, oh, I just wasted all that time looking for number two, and we don't even need it. It just tells you here, which is super nice. Um, trying to think what else. This is Amazon paper, so if you guys don't know what that is, it's it's almost like copy paper. It's a little bit thicker, a little bit toothier, um, but it's very thirsty. So if you use alcohol markers, really any marker, um, they are going to bleed some. So it's something to keep in mind. Um, they have nice dark line art here, which is, is great for alcohol markers. Um, and I really like that the colors, like there's thicker lines where two colors are coming together. Um, like this is green and this is red. So that thicker line is there so that if you are using alcohol markers, they don't, um, it's harder for them to bleed into each other. So that's super nice. I really like that about these books. Um, again, black back pages, still put something behind it. I feel like I'm missing something. So hopefully it'll come to me eventually in this video. But yeah, they are super duper cute little images. little mice are just adorable. I love them. Oh, here's the picture that I did. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I used my Kelly Art markers on this page. Um, it says Pirate Story here. Um, you can't really see, but there's not too much bleeding into each other. Um, not that I can find at least, which is nice. Um, so it's just a testament to the paper or to the, to the dark lines, not the paper. <laughs> um, but you can see on this page that there is an outline. Um, I can see it pretty clearly. It's not so clear on camera. And here he comes again. Goodness. Um, but it does not stop bleed through. So if I didn't have something in between here, it would have bled onto this page and I would have been very sad. Um, so even if you're using pencils, it's a good idea to put something in between so that you don't get indents on the page. Um, like black marks here from the pencils digging in. So just something to keep in mind. This, I haven't really broken in this book very much. <laughs> Little gnome, that's so cute. And then this one is my favorite page. The little ballerina, it's just adorable. I don't know if I wanna do this one next or save it for last. Can't decide, save the best for last maybe. <laughs> But the, yeah, this book is really fun. Um, it looks super intricate, but it's really not that bad. Um, like for example, his ears are all twos, so you could just color all of that in. Um, all of all of this right here is twenty, so you could just color all of that. You don't have, or actually, this whole thing right here is twenty, so you could just color along this edge. You wouldn't have to color every individual little. Um, piece if you didn't want to. You can do that as well. Sometimes that's what's relaxing about color by numbers. Um, but if that scares you or annoys you, you don't have to do that. Hide and go seek. This one's laughing. That's cute. Um, I don't know this for sure, but I, I'm assuming that Sun Life Drawing is a team of artists, kind of like Jade Summer. Um, so, because they don't list specific artists. So I'm assuming it's a team that works on these pages together. Again, I don't know that for sure. So if you guys do, let me know below. I still feel like I'm forgetting to mention something about the paper, but I don't think so. I think I hit all the points that I wanted to. This one uses all of the colors. That's a full range. <laughs> 
This is adorable with the them with the cheese. Look at his little feet sticking out. Reminds me of my dog. Just Sit on the ground. I love this too with the teacups. I hope you guys, yeah, you're it's easier for you guys to see this one. Um with uh the camera. Sorry, I'm getting messages coming through. There we go. They're gone now. Um from far away is what I was saying. It's easy, kind of easier as I'm looking in the camera for you guys to see the images than it is for me to. This one is so cute. I am gonna have to save this one for October. Look at the little pumpkin, look at his face. It's so adorable. So cute. Oh, and this, that's what I wanted to say. It was, it's very nice that this book and all of the Sun Life books actually, they're very considerate of us colorists. Um, <laughs> they, I do like, really like Sun Life. Um, they put all the portrait pictures in the front, and this could be opposite with some books, maybe the landscaper in the front, um, and then in this book, all of the landscaper in the back. So you don't have to, like, turn your book, especially for flip-throughs, it's really nice. <laughs> but for those of you who don't, aren't creators, it's still very nice to have all of the landscape and then, uh, well, all of the portrait and then all of the landscape. I just really like that a lot, and I wish more books would do that. It's just so nice not to have to, like, if I want to work on this side, then I, and if I want to do two pages, I can just keep my book like this and just flip the page and do the next one. So I really, really do it. That's one of my favorite things about Sun Life books. But they're also just all so cute. So cute. I think they're in a paper airplane. That's adorable. And just the colors are so bright too. That's why I really like to do these with alcohol markers. You can do them in gel pen, you could do them in pencil, any medium you'd like. Crayon, why not, right? I don't have any crayons at the moment. I have some in my parents' house, but I do not have crayons. Here, I'm taking a little bath. I just love this, he's scrubbing his armpit. That's so cute. So cute. And then they're in the bath, rubber ducky. <laughs> I guess they're in a sink. This one's adorable for Easter. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to wait to color these um, holiday pictures though. They're just so cute. I probably will, cause I have a lot of other stuff that I wanna color too, but these are cute. Cute, cute. Cherry jam, just looks like cherries to me. I think they're in a shoe in this one. I see a lace. That one's hard to see. Yeah, in the camera it looks like they're in a shoe. Teasing the kitty cat. Dangerous game there, little mice. <laughs> what is this called? It's a, I know it's like a, it looks like a record. It is a record player, but there's another word for it. When I recorded this the first time I said sonogram, but that's not, <laughs> like an ultrasound so I don't know I don't can't remember what this is called let me know in the comments below <laughs> taking the cheese from the trap oh this is a Christmas picture I didn't notice that before there's a candy cane tree oh that's cute I really like that that's adorable. I love Christmas. Oh, they're sewing. Yeah, some of these I didn't really know. I didn't know take notice of what they were doing. There's the little snail guy. He makes an appearance in a few of their books. I know he's in the um, fairies one as well, or similar snails. Cute. Pictures. This is like a nostalgic picture with the books and the camera and the rocking horse pearls. <laughs> Cute. Blowing bubbles. Catching the butterfly. That's adorable. These are all so cute. I just love the little mice. I love animals. And then that's the end. So you have your thank you page. Um, asking you to please leave a review if you like the book. And then here are all of the social media ones. You can pause that if you want to join their social media. We do follow them on Instagram. And then we have 
sample pages. So this one is from Animal Mosaic Color by Number. I have yet to do any of these mosaic books. I really want to try, but the lines, I know some people, well, most people color the lines first, and that's what's intimidating to me. <laughs> it's so many lines, but it would probably be okay. Might not take as long as I think. And there is Travel Mosaic Color by Number. The Christmas one. Can't really tell what that is, but Santa's up here and he's got a little bear in his, his sack. And we have Mosaic Mandala Color by Number. Animal Stencils Color by Number. Oh, there's a lot of sample pages in this book. Mosaic Mandala, I have this book and I adore it. It's one of my favorites. You saw a lot of pictures from this book in my finished pages for May. And then you have an extra page back here. That's what I wanted to say. Um, you can test your colors back here as well if you don't want to test them in that very front page. This would be a perfect option to just, say you don't have your swatches, you could just quick scribble out and see what color you've got. So yeah, that is World of Mice. And that's the only Sun Life book I have um, that I've gotten in a while and that I have in this haul. So next I have a bunch of Camellia Angelkova books. I love her art. It is so gorgeous. Just look at this little sleeping bunny. Oh, it's just so pretty. I can't. I love her books. So um, just as a little sneak peek in August, I am going to do a um, color along with Camellia Angelkova's books. Um, again, I just love her work and she has so many books, such a variety as well, um, which you'll see uh, either in this book or the next book. Um, she has the samples of her coloring books. <clears throat> so I want to do a color along and um, I believe that Michelle from Kiss and Caboodles is going to be on board to co-host with me. So um, again, more on that, that's that's ways away. That's a month and a half or so away. Um, so, but just a little sneak peek into what I've got planned for the channel in the future. So here we have the 50 Spring Miniatures. Um, I really like this book. Again, it is on Amazon paper. So you have 50 Spring Miniatures, a spring coloring book featuring 50 delightful illustrations with various spring flowers, cute springtime animals, whimsical fairy houses, fairy doors, and much more. Here's a little fairy door. You can, you can always color these pages, guys, if you'd like. Um, I'm not sure how many images are in the World of Mice book. Not sure at all. Um, I can, if you guys want to know, just drop a comment below, um, and I will let you know. I'll just count the pages. Um, but if it doesn't matter to you, that's, that's fine as well. So just let me know. <clears throat> so then this tells you the details of the book. Um, I'll just read a little bit. 50 creatively designed hand-drawn spring-themed illustrations, plus some Easter and St. Patrick's Day page designs to keep you inspired, pleased, and stress-free for hours. Um, if you <coughs> I can, excuse me, <coughs> take a sip of my tea. Excuse me, friends. Um, so yeah, this just kind of tells you a little bit about the book. Um, great for spring season, clear, beautiful, and not too busy designs, um, for joyful and mindful coloring therapy, single-sided designs, spring-themed glossy cover, large print spring-themed coloring book, letter-sized, it is an eight and a half by 11, so it's a normal-sized book, and so is <clears throat> World of Mice, actually all of the books that I have today are. Um, perfect for any softer or very soft pencils as well as crayons. Um, so no duplicates, no re repeats, no too thin or wide black outlines, no filled in grayscale or black areas, not perforated. So that kind of gives you an entire overview of the book. <clears throat> I don't know why my third is so scratchy. So here's your little belongs to page with a little tiny bunny. She's got a shamrock or a clover. That's so cute. She or he or they. <clears throat> This is the one from the front cover. Let me zoom you guys in here for this. Uh, not 
it's set up to zoom, there we go, for this book because the images are small, they are miniatures. So you have a lot of um, opportunity to practice wood in this book and flowers. <clears throat> Snails are cute. I love this. Um, these are called bleeding hearts. I love them. They are so pretty, such pretty flowers. <laughs> this reminds me of Thumper from Bambi. Kitty cat with a butterfly, how cute. These are like Lily of the Valley, kind of. He's got a little heart, oh my goodness. Fairy house. These images are just so pretty. These were the first books that um, drew me to Camellia, actually. The, the shadow isn't too bad, guys. I'm trying to use some natural light. Get you, well, that gets you out of frame. All right. I'm not sure, it seems like the lighting changed and I'm not sure why. More bleeding hearts, but you can do them. They're usually, I believe, pink. That's what I've seen at least, but you could do them any color. I love how the door is a heart. Mushroom. Old school bike, they're pretty. It's so pretty. Another little fairy house. This one's a mushroom. You could embellish that a lot. That would be fun. Oh, this is like a little garden. You guys can see for yourselves. I don't mean to like talk through every page, but I don't think I flipped through this whole thing either. So it's the first time I'm seeing it as well. Oh, that's adorable. Little bunnies. So yeah, they're just simple. You could do, again, you could use your alcohol markers. They are one-sided. Um, I'm not sure if I said this before, but again, they are uh, Amazon paper. But you could, oh, that's pretty. I love the fish, the koi. Um, you could totally use your alcohol markers as either a base or just color them with your alcohol markers. I think I would use them as a base in this book. I haven't used my pencils in an Amazon book in who knows how long. It's so pretty. Into birdie. Cheekies, oh they're hatching, that's cute. Aw, doggo. Saying hi to the butterflies. Oh, I really like that. Looks like a little, um, place like pillows for little fairies heads or something <laughs> oh not a big bug person but they're so cute in this book look at this little door doesn't look like you fit through there huh eggs this is an Easter -y page oh I love this that is cute Watering can with a little heart nozzle. Birdo. These would be fun to do like a robin egg color. I don't know if that's a robin or not, but it's a bird. I'm sorry about this light, guys. I think after I'm done flipping through this book, I'm going to try to change the light around for you. <laughs> Look at his fluffy little cheeks. This is a good place to practice your floral tones, your stones as well. There's lots of stones. Oh, she looks like Lady from Lady and the Tramp. Oh, this is cute. An old shoe and there's like mushrooms sprouting out of it. This is a lot of pages. Try to go a little faster for you guys. Okay, cats. Oh. That's cute. How many times can I say cute in one video? Again, the speedy flip throughs will be up on Saturday. We're gonna deem it 
Speedy flipped through Saturday. This looks like a teapot. I thought it was another flower pot, but I think it's a teapot. Little ladybug. Now it's just yanked my hair. Aw. Keeping them safe. That's pretty. It's like a lotus basket almost. Looks like lilies. Or lily pads. Here's the St. Patrick's Day picture. Pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. That's fun. Another one. Shamrocks coming out of the hat. Cute little Easter egg picture. Oh, his house is cracking. Hope I'm not going too fast now. This one's really pretty. Um, Michelle at Kits and Caboodles actually did this picture. It came out really, really good. She used her markers. This one's cute. Pretty. Baby's Breath or Lily of the Valley. I'm not sure what that is. Birdies. Looks like a dogwood tree. Um, my dad has a dogwood tree back home. That's what that looks like. They're really pretty. That's what I'm going to color this as. I'm going to... I want to flag this, but I don't have my flags. That's really pretty. I'm just going to dog ear it. Because there's nothing in the background. And I don't really mind. It made, probably made some of you guys cringe. Looks like he's yelling at her. Hello, spring. That one's fun. That's very simple. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Cute. Yeah, I'm gonna change my lighting around. Happy Easter. And then back here, here we have all of her other books. Um, she did do the seasonal mandalas. Um, so you have full mandalas of all of the seasons. And then her fantasy books, which are really, really pretty. I love this fairies one. I don't have it, but the images are beautiful. More mandalas. Oh, you're not zoomed in. You are zoomed in, I mean. There we go. And triangular mandalas, snowflakes, lotus flower. They're all very pretty. And more mandalas. She's very well known for her mandalas, but they are they are gorgeous. And then you have all of her information down here. And she does have a YouTube channel where she does flip throughs of these books as well. Um, so that's really cool. And then you can see her images here on Instagram. There's her website. So it is a very, very nice book. Um, and then this tells you a little bit about her as well. So yeah. So we've got a couple more of her books. Um, but before we do that, I am just going to flip my lighting around. Um, and I will be right back. Alrighty friends, we are back. Um, I hope that lighting is a lot better for you. I hope the first part of the video is okay. Um, again, I am gonna film speedy, speedy flip throughs of these books, so I will have the same lighting. Um, so you can feel free to go ahead and check those out. So let's jump right back in. So next we have Camellia's 50 Summer Miniatures. Again, this is gonna be the same setup. Oh, let's move you over here a little bit. There we go. Um, 50 this paper towels like casting a shadow. There we go. So we have 50 summer miniatures. Here is the details page. Same thing, just with the summer ones. And this book belongs to Paige. Look at these roses, they're gorgeous. Lucky cat. This one has a lot of cats, I think, if I remember correctly. And I'm going to zoom you guys in yet again, because these ones are sm much smaller than a full page book. There we go. Let's see if I can actually turn the light a little bit more towards me without blinding myself. Is that better? That's okay, but it's still better than it was. It's just started to rain, so it's getting very gloomy outside. And they're still mowing. <laughs> but this is the one from the cover. 
I love how she's on a sand castle. That is so cute. So cute. Little puppers. I miss my dog so much. <laughs> um, but there's a lot of pattern, not patterns, but similar flowers in a lot of these pages. Um, and it's something that I have to remind myself as well, but you don't have to color all the flowers the same color. You can make them different colors. It doesn't really matter what they are in real life unless you want them realistic. Totally up to you. I wouldn't even know where to, I mean, these look to, in my mind, they're blue, but I don't know what they are. I don't know what they actually, um, look like, so... This is cute. I love the seashells. Somebody's having a picnic. Somebody's very small. Maybe it's the clams. I don't know. They don't have faces or anything. Another door. Straighten you out here. Looks straight to me, but then on camera it's not straight. <laughs> oh, look at the little mice. I don't think we saw any of them last one, last time. All the fruit. That would be a really fun page. I have some of the pages marked in here. I don't know why I didn't mark that one. Probably because I gave up because I love all the pages. <laughs> Getting a little bath. At first I thought this was an octopus, but it's totally a starfish. But it kind of looks like he's upside down because usually these little ridges are um, on the bottom. That's how they walk. Why do I know all these random facts about sea creatures? <laughs> Probably because I spend too much time at Epcot and in the seas. Sunflowers. But you can make them again, whatever you'd like. I love the balloons. That'd be good practice. Oh, look at her. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, that's just too cute. That reminds me of my pupper. Oh, she's gonna, yeah, I'm gonna color her like my, my Roxy girl. Cute. Big tats and flowers, that's just adorable. Oh, I, I did mark this one, because this is just like the epitome of summer in Florida, um, minus the cactuses, but we've got these little gecko lizards everywhere. But I also love succulents, so. Yeah, got this one marked with my cactus cat. I don't know if you can see him, there he is. He's in a pot. I think all of these are marked with cactus cat. But yeah. Anyway, I digress. <clears throat> I love how everything's seashells. I just love summer and I love the beach, so this is like the perfect book for me. Ooh, it's coming down out there. Flowers. More roses. They're really pretty. Can make them um, different color roses. Mouse. <laughs> I hope that's an actual kite or a balloon, not an actual butterfly. No, I, that was, I shouldn't have even said that. <laughs> a little morbid there, sorry. Flowers, lily flowers, lilies. Wow, lotuses. This looks like, ti uh, yeah, tiger lilies. They're pretty. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's in a seashell. That's so cute. I don't think I've, well, sometimes I look through, but I just page through and I don't really pay attention to what I'm looking at. I love this too, this little lighthouse. This one's going to be so much fun for the summer. <laughs> Ladybug tea party, or ice cream party. I really like this too, the hummingbird. Back home we have a hummingbird who comes to the window. Or not the window, the patio. And if we have like drinks, they'll hover around. It's so cute. I love this as well, the cactus house with the succulents all around. That's so pretty. Or cactus flowers, I guess. This is a succulent. <clears throat> Water fountain cat. <laughs> I like this page too, but this creeps me out. <laughs> it's like bird feet. I don't like that very much, but it's okay. Ugh. Yeah, it's weird <laughs> to me. I was like, oh, that's cute. Oh, okay. Um, the sun. The sun faces are kind of funky to me too, but that's just me. It is cute. 
I think it'll be really cute colored. Love the sand castle. Little garden. This is fun. This looks like peaches. If I was from Georgia, I'd color that right, like in a heartbeat. But the the Florida lizard is more my style right now. Puppy dog. Looks like a dachshund. Aw. Watering her flowers. Who waters like that? Do any of you guys water like that? I don't. I don't. I w that wouldn't work for me. I'd get it everywhere but the plant. I love how the mice are just surrounded by fruit. <clears throat> oh, froggy music. We have froggy friends outside. They like to sing in the middle of the night very loudly. Lounge chair. Kitty on the windowsill. I love this teapot. That is just beautiful. Kite. I marked this one too. This is almost like a mandala to me. Just a simple color. I'd probably do that in markers. Oh, I don't know why it's so dark, guys. I'm sorry. I think it's just, there's just not enough light outside to light up the room and my lamp is dying, which isn't the best either. I love this too, this uh, ice cream cone house. Epitome of summer, cherries, another summer fruit, love cherries. <clears throat> this is adorable, she's in a teacup, oh my gosh. Cool seashells, I don't know what this is. Oh, I really like this too. I could just see this one in my mind with all the deep purpley colors. This kind of reminds me of a Her Hannah Carlson page. <laughs> this one's adorable too. Lightning bug, firefly. This looks like a cardinal, but I guess it could be a blue jay. Cardinals, I think of more of a winter bird. And hello summer. And then we've got her images again, except this one includes the seasonal miniatures. Um, so we have the spring, the summer, and then I'm really hoping that this year we get fall and winter. That would be awesome, because we have them in the regular mandalas. Just not in the minis yet. But yeah, all of her books are pretty awesome. And then there's this about page again. And you have a test page back here. Which you had in the other book as well. I just don't know that I mentioned it. I'm gonna move this see if that helps at all. Eh, not really. Maybe a tad. So next we have 50 dream catchers to color. This is my favorite book. This actually, I think this is the one that drew me to her mostly. Like I saw the miniatures first and was like, oh, they're cute. And then I saw this one. I would love to get a dream catcher tattoo one day. I know it's cliche, but they're pretty. So your belongs to page. I'm gonna try to go a little bit quicker for you guys. Try not to gab so much. But these are the chatty flip through and reviews. Um, again, Amazon paper. But these are, this has such a variety of pages. <clears throat> I love the heart ones. I, I'm a sucker for the shape of the heart. I'm not sure what this is, but it's cool. You can practice your feathers, practice your like browns and woods. This is awesome. Celestial. sun. This is really pretty too. Those again are like those dogwood like flowers. I guess they're supposed to be lotuses or lilies. This is cool. Teardrop shape with the heart in the middle. This would be fun. These would be fun in gel pens to do all these little bits in gel pen, glitter gel pen. But again you can use whatever you like. They are one-sided. 
Oh, that's pretty. Butterfly. I really love all of these pages too. This one you get like four in one. Oh wow, beautiful. They're just so like innovative. They're so different than what you would see normally. Heart with the roses again. That, that one's really pretty. I should have marked that one too. <laughs> St. Patrick's Day, that's what this reminds me of. Horseshoe, luck, lucky dream catcher. This is very mandala-ish. Mini hearts, they're cute. These are like, um, plumerias. This is, this is a lotus, that's a lotus. That's really pretty. Do a big gem right there. Square, that's interesting. Never actually seen a square dream catcher. Again, another mandala-like one. Sorry, I keep touching the pictures. Just pet my books like Anne in A Colorful Life. I can't help it. Gotta, plus I'm trying to break them in, so. <laughs> this one's an eye, this one's really cool. I don't know. It would be fun to do like different colors. Another one for roses. Triangle. I like how it looks like there's sticks like put together. Pretty. This is neat. It's like a branch hanging, that's cool. Oh wow, that's pretty intricate. So yeah, some of them are more intricate, some of them are more simple. That one's cool. That's very different from everything else in this book. There's, oh, bear claw, that's cool too. Again, this is one that I just kind of paged through, didn't really look at. pages takes a while to flip through, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm also dabbing at the gums, so that's cool. That's a tree. That reminds me of the tree of life. Tassels on this one. This is neat. The little tiny ones inside. Oh, that's yin and yang. That took me a minute. Crab. <laughs> kind of getting into summery ones. The rose. It's a different kind of rose. Oh, I love this one. Um, I'm in the summer mood, can you tell, guys? But I love the seashell. That's why I marked it. A little mermaid. Mercury. So cute. It's a fine balance, so let me know if, you, if I'm going too fast, too slow. I want you guys to see the pictures. This is interesting. Antlers. All you hunters out there. Another summer one. That's really cool. Another one that looks like an eye, that's kind of neat too. Third eye almost. More seashells, very pretty. Oh, I love this. That's really pretty mandala. With the seashells, cool. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do these um, feathers, all these feathers, but <clears throat> hopefully we'll figure it out. That's interesting too. Some of these are very, um, like native, which is really neat. And then you just have her pages in the back here, yet again. And her information and a test page. So that is 50 uh, dream catches. I almost said springtime mandalas again. <laughs> but yeah, they're fun. They're really diverse for the most part, which is cool. It'll give you a lot of freedom. 
And then here is her newest book. Um, as soon as this came out, I think I saw Nikki or Nikki and Niagara told me about it, or she's mentioned it in her video or something. And I was like, I need that book. Um, the only issue with this one, and I'm not sure what happened, if it's the book or if it was postal service, but I don't know if you can tell, but it is like, let's see, it's very, it's curled. Um, and again, this does have the black back pages, which a lot of people talk about them doing that, but I don't seem to have an issue with most of my books, so I'm not sure. This one got caught in the rain, I think, so it was just kind of a mess, but this is 50 Nighttime Mandalas. So beautiful, soothing, and artistic adult coloring book featuring 50 intricate and unique noc nocturnal mandalas on black backgrounds. Um, so yeah, I really like this. Again, <clears throat> Not sure if this is a print issue or not, but you can see this white line down here. Um, not sure what happened there. None of the mandalas are cut off. It's just, I think it's where the printer stopped. Um, but you could easily take a Sharpie or a black alcohol marker or fine liner or anything and just fill that in if it bothers you. Um, they're not lying when they say that these, in these mandalas are intricate. I did, again, quickly flip through this one. Um, and they are quite intricate. So here's your belongs to page, and here we go. Again, quite a bit of variety. Um, I think you can see now here that where it's curled, there's a glare. Not a big deal. I really love this. Some of these remind me of um, doilies, <laughs> but in a good way. Like, that's gorgeous. Go over. I think she likes those as well. I do too. So some of them are smaller. Some of them are a lot bigger. Oh, um, and if you haven't noticed, the, the background is black, but the back of the page is not black. So I'm thinking that might also be some of the reason for the curling is that it's like lopsided. Um, but yeah, um, I thought that was interesting too. Still put something behind your page so that you don't have any bleed through or indentation on your next page. I do like that, that's really, might, that might be the first one I do in here. Um, this is a book that you could definitely finish. I like the flowers here. But again, we'll get to some that are more intricate. This one even is a little more intricate. There's a, she likes the, the suns and moons, I think. Which, who doesn't? Oh, that rain. I don't know if you can hear that, but it just, it's coming down harder. And they're still out there landscaping. I don't, don't understand. <clears throat> I really like this one. I could see cool tones here and warm tones here for the sun and the moon. <laughs> this one kind of looks like an octopus. Lisa, at least his coloring corner did a flip as well. And she said the same thing, but there's quite a few too many arms. <laughs> of relaxing isn't it oh I like that this reminds me of a Vegas showgirl <laughs> I don't know why look at the just the feathers <clears throat> very cool oh, oh my goodness I can't believe they're still out there I bet you can hear it now. It's summery, seashell like. Over. I'm gonna let you guys listen to the rain a little bit, I think. Oh, there was thunder. Yeah, these are really, really pretty. Well, I know I'm not doing anything today. 
I was gonna go to Target, but guess not. This one looks very similar to one earlier. This one as well. But they are all pretty. A little scatterbrained today, but that rain is like nuts. This one's cool, this is Celtic. So I don't have any of her other mandala books. Um, if you do, let me know if these are, if any of these are in those books. Um, just printed on black, if they're the same or if they're new designs. I'm just curious to know. This is like a snowflake. Another square mandala. That's pretty. I like that one a lot. Sun and some hearts. Ooh, that was a big clap, clap of thunder. Hopefully the power doesn't go out. This seems like more than 50 pages, doesn't it? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, it's just a sheet of rain outside. Sorry to talk about it, but I can see it in the mirror. There's a mirror in front of me and I can see, just see it pouring down through the window. Well, luckily not through the window. Almost there, guys, I promise. Just one more book. And again, um, the pages in the back. Alrighty, friends, if you guys have stuck with me so far, leave a comment down below. Let me know that you've gotten this far. We're almost there. We're in the home stretch. One more book. And I'm so, so, so excited about this book. Um, as you guys know, I work for Disney, so Disney things are like my jam, and I found this. So, this is Demita Victoria. Oh, ho, ho, that's a loud cra crash of thunder. Holy moly. I thought something fell. Um, so, this is Demita Victoria. She is a new to me artist. Um, I'm not sure how long um, she or this company have been around, um, <clears throat> but she does beautiful women um and this one is new fashion princesses so if you can't tell already um these are mostly disney princesses some others um and this on the front cover here is elsa and her shirt says let it go and i'm just obsessed but i found this through ann's channel she was doing flip throughs of demita victoria books so i went to check them out on amazon and this one popped up and i instantly bought it i had to have it so <clears throat> this is my newest amazon um accumulation I guess so here we are and this is adult coloring book new fashion princesses and this says Demina Victoria so I'm assuming that's their um, avatar her avatar this book belongs to Paige um, copyright over here you have a um, coloring tips over here Images are single-sided. Each image is on its own black-backed page to reduce bleed-through, which is a lie. It doesn't reduce bleed-through. It just reduces how you can see the bleed-through, at least in my opinion. If you are using markers, it is strongly recommended sliding a piece of cardstock or thick paper behind the page. Yes, please. Um, and there are two images in, or, um, it's like the Jade Summer books where they give you two copies of the image. So this is version one, and don't let that confuse you, it is the same images in both um, 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 books, or versions. So this paper, you can see, if I, well, I can see, I think you can too. This is the next page right here. That fall, like gray part, so it's pretty thin paper. Um, yeah, I would say, well, 
it is Amazon paper. I can't tell if it's um, thin, like thinner or not. It feels a little bit thinner than the other books. Um, so this is super nice. It does have a slight gray scale to it, not too bad. Um, <clears throat> well, I guess it is a pretty dark gray scale. Some darker line art, which is nice. Um, and I just, I love this book. It is so pretty. Olaf back here. Um, but yeah, not just because it's princesses, but the, the women in here are just gorgeous. And I love her rendition of them. Like, she's just chilling in her mountain cabin. <laughs> That's so cool. And her sweats. Um, so if you guys didn't know, Rapunzel is my favorite princess, which you probably didn't because I don't think I've mentioned that before. And I opened this book and I saw her and I was like, this is me. <laughs> just lounging on the couch, long hair that needs cut, in sweats sneakers I don't know what that is but yeah that's me <laughs> I just love this image and Merida Belle I love this I love the little beast down here that is so cute let me zoom you guys in a little tiny bit there we go you can see a little bit better this one almost looks like Emma Watson from the new version. Probably is after her. Anastasia, who I guess technically now is a Disney princess because we uh, Disney bought Fox. This will be fun to do in the, like, those, I guess, traditional <clears throat> St. Petersburg buildings. Yeah, she's really pretty. Esmeralda, I was so excited she was in here. I was obsessed with her as a kid. I still am. I still love her, even though she's not, like, technically a princess. Cindy. Look at the little hidden Mickeys. I don't know if you can see them, but there are... Let me zoom you in so you can see them. There are Mickeys on her tights. How cute is that? I love it. Oops, too far. There we go. Snow. I love this picture as well. I love her tattoos. I cosplayed as a um, <clears throat> pin-up snow once with tattoos, so that was fun. That's what this reminds me of. I really like it. I believe there's some in here that I'm not sure. I believe this is Kida, I think is her name, from Atlantis, because she's got the crystal and the face markings, so I believe that's who that is, which again is really neat, the inclusivity here. Pocahontas, model Pocahontas. Look at that pout. <laughs> That's cool. This one is also me. Sleeping Beauty. She fell asleep with her phone in her hand and her headphones in. That is so me. Jasmine. That's gorgeous. <clears throat> Mulan. Her little crop top. That's cute. Yeah, I love this book. And again, some of it's grayscale and some of it isn't. Like, she's grayscale, but the background, like, the trees and things are. And this is Tiana. <clears throat> little frog belt. Oh, she's got a frog tattoo, too. I didn't see that the first time. That is cool. I believe this is Giselle from Enchanted. She kind of looks like Amy Adams. She's got the cat leggings. Oh, my goodness. Tights, I guess. Cute. Meg from Hercules. Moana. That one's really pretty. So I struggled with this one, but I believe this is Melody from the second Little Mermaid. Because it's got the trident here and she's got the necklace. So I believe that's who that is, but I'm not entirely sure. Let me know who you guys think this is. And then we have Ariel. Because I thought it was Ariel at first, and then I, I turned the page and it was her. It's, this is her, so. Apparently, shopaholic Ariel with a little flounder bag. That's cute. Vanellope from Wreck-It Ralph. I love her. She's another favorite of mine. Swan Princess. She is not a Disney princess, but she is a princess. Best costume. Cute. Sailor Moon. I guess she's a princess. Wonder Woman. 
Not a princess, but still a strong woman. Cool to have her in here. And Leia. I love that. I love that. That'd be, that'll be great for Star Wars Day next year. And Anna. <clears throat> Anna from Frozen. And that's the last page. So then you go into the second set of pages, which I'm not going to flip through. I'm just going to show you that they are the same the same pages so there's nothing different in the second version and that about wraps it up for me guys um thank you for sticking through it with me with all the rain and the noise and I can never film without it being eventful so thank you guys for sticking it out um I am gonna have the speedy flip throughs up on Saturday which by the time you see this will be tomorrow um and I will show these books um, I think I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna pair up the, um, Camellia Angokova books. I'm gonna do the two miniatures together and then the mandala and dream catchers together. But I think I actually want to do World of Mice and especially this one separately. Um, so anyway, thank you guys for bearing with me. Um, and if you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment down below, um, share it with your friends, whatever you'd like. Um, timestamps will be in the bottom so you can skip through if you'd like. Um, and that's about it. Thank you guys so much. I love you and bye-bye.